Doesn't it seem like everything author John Grisham pens turns to gold? Well, now his first novel is getting a whole new audience. The 20-year-old book, A Time to Kill, is on Broadway. PIX 11's Lisa Mateo has the story. What they did to your daughter, what they did to mine, what would you do? That's the springboard into the Broadway adaptation of John Grisham's very first novel, A Time to Kill, whose sizzling mix of racism, child rape, and revenge also made it a hit movie back in the early 1990s. I can't try a capital murder case for $900, Carl. How many times can I go to the gas chamber? For Grisham, the arrival of A Time to Kill on Broadway may be a first on several counts, but it's only the latest in a series of books and films that have leapt from page to screen to Broadway. Why did you do this to us? It seems like there is a drift one year to a lot of musicals based on novels, and then the next year it will be movies that turn into musicals. But For playwright Rupert Holmes, the themes in A Time to Kill are just as relevant today as they were back when the book and film caught the public's imagination back in the 90s. You believe God said, thou shalt not kill? Especially with the Trayvon Martin trial that happened recently. Uh, the issue of is there equality and justice for all races is, um, is still an unresolved issue. Art reflects life in A Time to Kill, but for former U.S. Senator Fred Thompson, who plays the judge in the trial, the courtroom proceedings on stage reflect his career as an attorney. I had a moment the other night sitting on the bench as the judge, I saw a lady there who reminded me so much of jurors that I have seen in times past, knowing so conscientious that she was going to have to make an important decision. Those who think the stage version of A Time to Kill is a selection of highlights from the book and movie may be in for a few surprises. David, didn't you play God? Maybe I did. So it was kind of fun because there are some moments quite dramatic in this piece that are not from the novel and yet were really inspired by what John set in motion. Therein lies the part of the beauty of the play. All I got to bank on is Jake. And a very special edition. Next Thursday, author John Grisham himself is going to host the performance and talk about his new novel, Sycamore Row, which is a sequel to A Time to Kill. Make a note of it because of the limited engagement of A Time to Kill. It ends November 17th. And that was Lisa Mateo with our story.